let's move on to calculating the ink coverage and cost for problem number two. I'm going to try to do all of the ink coverage in one video, so keep that in mind. So in order to calculate the total ink coverage or the total cost of the ink needed for the job, we first need to calculate what the total area of one press size sheet would be if we had 100% ink coverage. We can then use that to calculate the percentage of ink coverage of the different colors we're printing with. Our press size sheet is 23 by 35. The formula for calculating area is length times width. So 23 inches times 35 inches is 805 inches squared or square inches. Question 34 asks, what is the total coverage area of the blue on just one press size sheet? So we need to be able to look in the problem and determine that the blue coverage area on one sheet of paper is 22%. So we need to ask ourselves the question, what is 22% of 805 square inches? Divide 22% by 100 to turn it into a decimal of, in mathematics, represents multiplication. So our final formula is 0 0.22 times 805 inches squared for a total blue coverage area on one sheet of paper of 177.1 square inches of ink coverage. From there, with question 35, we can calculate the total coverage for all of the sheets by multiplying by 2 million sheets of paper. We've already calculated 2 million sheets previously, so you don't have to do that again. 177.1 square inches multiplied by 2 million sheets of paper means we need to cover 354,200,000 square inches of coverage of blue ink. And last but not least, we can divide the total coverage area of blue ink by the number of square inches per pound that our ink will cover, or the ink spread. So 354,200,000 square inches divided by 17,000 square inches for every one pound of blue ink means we need to purchase 20,835.2941 pounds of ink. Again, we can't purchase part of a pound of ink, so we'll round that up and purchase 20,836 pounds of ink. Ink for this problem is priced at $4.75 per pound, so 20,836 multiplied by $4.75 a pound means that the blue ink will cost us $98,971 even. Black is a little tricky because we're printing black on the front and the back of the sheet of paper. So we're going to calculate all the values for black on the front and then we will go back and calculate all the values for black on the back. So black on the front has 11% ink coverage. So we need to ask ourselves the question, what is 11% of 805 inches squared? Divide 11% by 100 to convert it to a decimal. And 0.11 multiplied by 805 inches squared should equal 88.55 square inches for one sheet of paper. We will then, in question number 39, multiply that by 2 million sheets of paper to get the total ink coverage for all of the sheets in our job. 88.55 times 2 million sheets of paper is 177,100,000 square inches of ink coverage of black ink on the front of the sheet of paper. We can divide that by 17,000 inches squared for every one pound of ink to get a total, um, total amount of ink needed of 10,417.6471 pounds. We do not purchase part of a pound of ink, so we'll purchase 10,418 pounds. From there, we can then multiply that value times $4.75 per pound to get a total cost of black ink on the front of the sheet of paper of $49,485.50. And last but not least, let's calculate the ink needed for the back of the sheet of paper. Question 42 asks, what is the total coverage area of black ink on the back of the sheet of paper for just one press size sheet? Per our problem description, the back has 6% ink coverage. So what is 6% of 805 inches squared? Divide 6% by 100 to convert it to a decimal. 0 0.06 times 805 inches squared is 48.3 square inches for one sheet of paper. We multiply that times 2 million sheets required for this job to get a total ink coverage area of black ink for the back of the sheet of paper of 96,600,000 square inches of ink coverage. Again, we're going to divide that by 17,000 square inches for every one pound of ink to get a total amount of ink needed of 5,682.35294 pounds. We don't purchase part of a pound of ink, so we'll purchase 5,683 pounds.
Knowing how many pounds allows us to calculate the cost for the back ink for the back of the sheet. So 5,683 pounds times $4.75 per pound means we will spend 26,994.25 uh, and 25 cents for the black ink on the back of the sheet. And question 46, last but not least, let's add them all together to get a total ink cost for the entire job. The blue ink on the front of the sheet was $98,971. The black ink on the front of the sheet is $49,485.50. And the black ink for the back of the sheet is $26,994.25. When you add them or sum them together, the total cost of ink for problem number two is $175,450.75. If you were able to get all of the ink prices correct, please move on to the next video to calculate press impressions. If you got any of them wrong, please go back and review the answers. And if you're still confused or stuck, please contact me during open office hours, online chat hours, or during any open lab period in the ART 1210 in-class sessions.